Actually, it's the eighth year, and uh, it is uh, one, perhaps, of the one most important uh, eco conferences in Africa. Uh, some eight years ago, uh, Professor Musa, uh, Rafik Musa, and myself uh, uh, thought about uh, setting up uh, an eco conference in uh, South Africa, in Johannesburg, which is obviously the largest city in South Africa, with a internationally renowned university, the Witz University, and, um, uh, but there was no much of echocardiography uh, going on, so uh, Professor Musa and myself, uh, we thought to put together this uh, course with uh, faculty primarily from uh, the United States, uh, the Mayo Clinic, and um, <clears throat> Europe. Interestingly, in the first instance, uh, it was overloaded with uh, Mayo Clinic uh, faculty. And I gently complained to Professor Musa, who was my friend too, that he needed to include a lot more European faculty. And uh, slowly uh, we expanded um, the faculty and now it is on equal terms <coughs> between Europe and, uh, and Mayo Clinic and the United States at large. It is a very good and a very inspiring meeting, very different from all other conferences because uh, we have a very enthusiastic uh, uh, people from all over South Africa who want to learn. And um, the facilities they have in uh, the, the various provinces are not uh, great. So they rely a lot in the two main towns, uh, Cape Town and, uh, and Johannesburg. And there is a healthy competition, as uh, uh, usually, between uh, Cape Town and Johannesburg. And, uh, but Johannesburg has uh, a bigger university, a much larger population, and a lot more uh, clinical fellows and, uh, who specialize in cardiology. And over the years, we, we helped to develop this course to a clinical course with lots of clinical examples. Personally, I like this uh, meeting very much for two reasons. First, I have uh, a lot of good friends from South Africa. And I have discovered over the years that uh, <coughs> there is a very strong Greek community as well. Although already in the Bariguanath uh, Hospital, which is built in the heart of Soweto, the biggest township around Johannesburg, there are at least two uh, Greek origin cardiologists, one interventionalist, Chris, and uh, another one, a non-interventionalist. And um, we have developed a good friendship over the years, and um, we meet every year, we exchange uh, uh, views and opinions and practices, because a practice here in South Africa is very different. There is very basic uh, national health uh, system, and uh, between health system, national health system, and private practice, uh, they complement uh, clinical care. Uh, the second reason is uh, the uh, the willingness of the students to, to learn from us. <clears throat> they have amazing pathology that um, a lot of Europeans and Americans could never ever imagine. Epidemic of uh, endomyocardial fibrosis, for instance. I've seen ca clinical cases that you can never imagine in the Western world. <clears throat> and a range of pathologies, or from mild to very severe surgical cases. They have, as you know, a lot of HIV-related pathologies with cardiomyopathies, pericardial uh, disease, uh, tuberculosis. All these pathologies that affect the heart are unique uh, in this uh, country. And uh, it is, I learn a lot by coming here and also my colleagues uh, from South Africa learn a lot uh, in interpretation and the management of these patients uh, from us, uh, perhaps in, uh, in Europe and the United States. So 
all in all, it is an inspiring course. A lot of uh, very nice people, incredibly polite and uh, civilized, I would say, people. Uh, we feel always very welcomed in this country. Very good and exotic food. <clears throat> and um, it's an inspiring place for everyone to come and visit. There is a good wine, good food, very nice people and uh, very interesting pathology uh, for those who want to be involved in um, electives or come and do a placement perhaps for a few months. It is, it's a good place to be.